Okay folks, W0RMT Bud here with a quick video showing you how to edit your DMR host files in Pystar. Um, so the objectives for this video are for you to learn how to use the SSH client that's built into Pystar to work with system files, to elevate your user permissions um, so that you're able to edit the files, make the file system writable, navigate to the location um, where dmrhost.txt is, and then use the built-in nano editor to add a custom DMR network to the dmrhost.txt file. Um, we're going to do this to add a network that's not yet in our PyStar host files that get uh, uh, updated through the regular updates, and that is the new QRM network. Um, so I'll show you how to add that. So let's jump over to the uh, PyStar dashboard. So this is one of my hotspots. That's a simplex hotspot currently connected to Brandmeister. But in order to start this process, you need to uh, find the SSH editor. So click on Configuration, and when you're there, you'll see Expert, and you need to click on Expert to get over here to this screen, which has access to the SSH um, interface. So click on SSH access, and it's important to know you could do this outside of Pystar as well with an external SSH client like um, Putty or something like that, and that's perfectly fine, but we'll just use the one that's built in. So the login here, the default login is pi-star, and the username is raspberry, all lowercase. When you type the password, it doesn't show up, so just be aware of that. So first thing we're gonna do is elevate our user status and take us right into the root directory, which is where we need to be. So type in sudo su space dash. That's sudo space su space dash. And that'll elevate us and get us to the root directory. The other thing we need to do is make the disk writable. So we type in rpi-rw. And now we can write to the files that we're going to edit. Or write the file back to the file system. So let's see what's in this directory right now. So we just do an ls command. It shows that there are these six host files. And these are our local host files, which we can edit. And the one we're interested in of course, is dmrhost.txt. So we're going to edit that one now. To edit that, we're going to use what's called the nano editor. So type in nano, N-A-N-O, and then the file name, dmr underscore hosts.txt. Now it's important to get the case exactly right, um, or you'll be almost, you'll be creating a new file with different case structures. So make sure you've typed the file name exactly as the one that you want to edit. Hit enter, and then it brings up that file in the nano editor. Now to navigate around here, you've got to use the arrow keys. So I'm using the down arrow here to get down and see the format. Well, we can go up and see what, what information we need to enter. We need to enter the IP address, the host name, the password. Everything has to be tab delimited. So no spaces between fields here. We're going to use tabs. These hash marks on the front mean that a line is commented out or ignored. So all these examples here are just ignored. <clears throat> so let's get down where we have some space to work with and add our network here. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll put a hash in front of it because we don't want it to be commented out. So the first thing is the name of the network, and this is what will show up in the drop-down menu in Pystar. And so we're going to call this the QRM network. Then I'm going to hit a tab over not a space, and type in 31200, which is going to be the DMR ID of the, of the default group that we go to. Another tab, and now I'll enter the IP address for the QRM network server, which is 24.124.97.212. Make sure you get that right, 24.124.97.212. Another tab to type in the password, which is P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D. So it looks like password, but it's not. And then finally another tab, and we'll enter the port number in, which is 62031. And you can hit enter if you like. That's all the information that we need to enter to add this to our dmrhost.txt. Network name, DMR ID, the IP address, password, and port number. Now to exit out of this and make sure it's saved, you'll hit Control X, and it'll save. Do you want to save, do you want to save what's modified here? And you can just hit Y for yes, 
and we're going to save it to the same file name. We're just writing over dmrhost.txt, so I just hit enter, and we've edited that file. And if you want to see if you've edited that file, see if it's stuck, you can just type in that same command. Uh, quick tip, if you hit the up arrow, it'll bring the last command that you typed. Go back to the nano editor, and you'll see that it's right there where we added it. So exit out of there, and then type exit here, EXIT. That gets you out of the <coughs> super user status, and one more exit will log you out of the secure shell connection. The next thing you'll need to do is reboot your hotspot for that change to take effect. So if you go back to admin, uh, power, and you do a reboot, and then once you do that, you go back to your dashboard and it should show up right there. Let me pause for a sec. Okay, so if we go back to, uh, we come back to the admin page after we reboot it, if we go to configuration and go down to our DMR master now, then this new network should show up in the list. Right now I'm on Brandmeister 3102, but scroll up and there it is. Right after TGIF is the QRM network. So I can select that, click Apply Changes, and then I will be connected to the new network that we just added in our dmrhost.txt file once it reboots here. So, All right, so uh, hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know. A good place to catch me or any of us is on the on Brandmeister on Colorado HD DMR network, <coughs> 31088. Um, also, DSTAR XLX. 303 module delta, um, YSF 99256, NXDN 31088, and P25 31088. Uh, check us out on our website at coloradodigital.net as well, and uh, hopefully this helped you add in your new network. Thanks for watching.